Hello everyone. Weed harvest has just begun in my area, which means fall is on its way, and I get to start making decorations from one of my favorite seasons of the year. I'd like to show you how to make this gorgeous wheat wreath. Growing up, my mom taught me how to make all kinds of fun seasonal decorations from just what we had in our yard or what we could glean from roadsides, which makes this project really inexpensive and easy. Here's what you're gonna need. A wreath hanger, paddle wire, a wire wreath form, wire cutters, and of course, your wheat. I make four wheat wreaths every season. I make two large ones, one for my front door and one for my back door, and I usually use a 12 or a 16 inch wreath form for that. And today I will be showing you how to make one on a 16 inch form. And then I make uh, two others with an eight or a 10 inch wreath form, and that's for either side of the garage. I picked up these wreath forms and the paddle wire at my local nursery for just a couple dollars each. And then this wreath hanger I had hanging around, so that was free. I got the wheat for free because there happens to be a lot of wheat fields around our area. And a lot of times after the wheat field is harvested, there's a little strip of wheat left on the edge because either the tractor couldn't get to it or the ground was too wet. We've gotten to know quite a few of the farmers and they've been really great about letting us glean off the extra. Don't steal wheat though. Make sure to talk to the farmers before you pick anything. Harvesting wheat has become a really fun annual tradition for my mom, sister and I. We grab a coffee, our hand pruners, and empty buckets and we head out into the fields to gather wheat. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is take your paddle wire and just kind of roll it out a little bit and then we're gonna take it and just attach it to one spot on our wreath form. You wanna make sure it's really tight on there, like that. And then I'm just gonna take my paddle wire and just wrap it around a couple times. And we'll let it stay right on the outside here, like that. So there's really not much to making a wheat wreath. All you need to do is get your wheat and make attractive little bundles like this. And then you're just gonna lay it kind of off center. You know, don't put it straight on your form like this. You'll wanna kind of angle it to the side. So you'll angle it to the side and then you're gonna wrap your paddle wire around to secure it a couple of times and pull tight, but not too tight because I have broken the paddle wire before. And then I'm gonna cut off the extra on the stems here. And then we're just gonna keep doing that. We're just gonna alternate which direction we face the wheat every time. So I'll do one more here and then we'll probably speed it up so you can see us do the whole thing. This is gonna look really pretty. And two, uh, something to think about, the size of the small bundles you make will dictate how thick your wreath is in the end. So if you do real thick bundles, you'll have a real nice full wreath. And if you want a kind of more thin, delicate wreath, make your bundle smaller, really easy. So there we go, just like that. So I'm gonna face this one more out toward the outside here. And we're just gonna, are gonna do the same thing with the wire. We'll make sure it's nice and tight. We'll cut off the extra. And we'll keep on going all the way until we're almost to the end and then we'll slow it down so you can see how we finish the wreath in the end. Okay, we are almost done. So we started here and we worked our way all the way around and you'll notice that I never cut the wire the whole time. We wired each individual uh, grouping on and made our way to this spot here and there's just a little gap left. We're gonna go ahead and cut the wire and stop it here. 
just because we've got a little bit more to do, but it's really hard to do it um, without breaking all the wheat. So we're gonna take this part a little bit slower. So we just take that wire and we just wrap it really tight all the way around. All right, and so to finish it, we're gonna take individual little bundles and we're gonna wire each individual one together and wire it in. So you wrap the wire around really tight, but you leave a little bit of a tail so that you can attach it to the back. So do that. We'll cut the excess on the end there. And then we will kind of weave it in real gently. Looks good. So I'll take that wire and I'll find somewhere to attach it to the back. And you can just attach it to the other wires that are back there. And we'll just keep doing that as many times as it takes to make it look finished. Some people at this point, instead of doing all of this extra and making it look all the way complete, they'll just use this spot to put their wreath hanger and then put a bow there and you don't even see it. So that saves you a little bit of work and it still looks really cute. All right, just wiring in my very last bundle. And then I think we are done. All right, let's take a look. There it is. This is a super fun project and I look forward to it every year. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next one.